solve by eliminating variables using the addition method. So we have a three equation, three unknown system of equations. Our first equation is x plus y plus z equals 6. Second equation, 3x plus 4y minus 7z equals 1. Third equation, 2x minus y plus 3z equals 5. We have choices to be made. We can choose to eliminate any of the three variables. I'm just going to choose to decide to eliminate x. So I'm going to take my first two equations and note that if I multiply the first equation by negative 3, we'll end up having a negative 3x and a positive 3x, which will eliminate our x term. So let's do that now. We're going to multiply everything in our first equation by negative 3. So we'll have negative 3x minus 3y minus 3z equals negative 18. I'll write my second equation down as is, 3x plus 4y minus 7z equals 1. Let's go ahead and combine terms. The 3x's will be eliminated. We'll have negative 3y plus 4y, which is y, negative 3z minus 7z, which is minus 10z, and we'll have negative 18 plus 1, which is negative 17. So I've ended up with an equation that has only a y and a z in it. Now, we want to go back to the original, and I want to now work with equation 1 and equation 3 and eliminate x. Remember that we want to make sure we're eliminating the same variable each time. To do so, we note that the coefficient of x on our third equation is a 2. If I multiply every term in the first equation by negative 2, we'll end up being able to add those and end up with 0. So we'll have our negative 2x minus 2y minus 2z equals negative 12 for our first equation, and we'll rewrite the third equation as is, 2x minus y plus 3z equals 5. Combining, notice that we eliminate our x's. Negative 2y minus y is negative 3y. We have negative 2z plus 3z, so that's plus z. And that equals negative 12 plus 5, which is negative 7. So we end up with a two equation, two unknown system. We can write those equations as y minus 10z equals negative 17, and negative 3y plus z equals negative 7. So I've rewritten the two equation, two unknown system here to work with it. We notice that we can also eliminate the y values if we decide to multiply the first equation by 3. So let's do that now. I'll rewrite the first equation as 3y minus 30z equals 3 times negative 17 is negative 51. We rewrite the second equation as is and combine. The y's will be eliminated. We end up with negative 30z plus z, which is negative 29z, equals negative 51 plus negative 7 is negative 58. Dividing both sides of the equation by negative 29 gives us z equals the value of 2. Now at this point, since we found z, we can go back to one of our equations in our two equation, two unknown system and solve for y. Let's go ahead and substitute in the value of z into our second equation. We're going to have now negative 3y plus our value of z, which is 2, equals negative 7. So that gives us negative 3y equals, subtracting 2 from both sides of the equation, gives us negative 9 on the right-hand side, and dividing by negative 3 gives us y equals the value of 3. Now we know that z is 2 and y is 3. We can take those two values and substitute back into one of the equations that we had in our three equation, three unknown system. We'll notice that if we substitute into the very first equation, we're going to end up finding our result fairly easily. So our x value is still unknown. We're going to add to that the y value, which we determined was 3, plus the z value, which we determined was 2, and that equals 6. So x plus 5 equals 6, which means x equals the value of 1. So now we have that x is 1, y is 3, and z is 2. We can write this as an ordered triple, and that's going to be 1, 3, 
comma 2 as our solution.